Hey guys, it's Corey Vanderpool here at Corey Photo on Instagram. Today I'm going to show you really quickly how I crop my images. Uh, it adds to workflow, so you are cropping specifically for whatever magazine publication you're working for. I'm just going to jump right in. I'll explain the theory at the end of this video. So first things first, you want to jump into your image. I like to crop before I even start retouching. That way I can see how it's going to look when it's finished. The first thing I want to do is jump in here, make a new action. I'll get into actions in later videos, but make a new action called crop four by five record. The reason I'm doing a four by five is that this was for fault magazine, which is a four by five ratio. And it's also the ratio for Instagram. So once we have the action running, you want to shift command N for a new layer Call this crop. And then we want to hit M for our marquee tool, make a uh, four by five ratio like I explained earlier and just bring that in here. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be in. And then we can hit a new mask layer. So you see that our marquee disappears, but at least we can see that it worked for our crop. So we want to hit command I to invert it and we're going to deselect this layer lock. I'll explain why in just a second. Once that's done, you can reselect your layer, hit the paintbrush tool, which is G, and fill it in. Once that's done, you wanna stop your action because the crop's made. We'll come back to that in just a moment. And now you can see that we have our crop and it can move any way we want. You see you have total flexibility, which is the main reason I use this crop, is for the flexibility before and after you finish an image. So, we could delete this right now, but since we have this action made, the crop just comes right back. You have this perfectly made for whenever you need a four by five crop. Beautiful. So now that the crop's done, you can begin retouching your image. It's just for speed's sake, say I'm done retouching my image. But now I decide I want to crop a little bit more. If we wouldn't have done this, we would have been stuck in that first initial crop. We would have had to start over. But the beauty of this is you can do it any way you want. So now that we're done, we're gonna use some more shortcut keys. We're gonna hit Command Select on this on the crop layer. And we are gonna hit Shift Command I for invert. Once that's done, now you can push C for crop. You see it's crop, hit enter twice, and we're done. Cropped image. Now you can export however you'd like. You can see here that I do almost all of my images like that. And then once I finalize in my JPEG form or my TIFFs, that everything's cropped accordingly. What's amazing is if you save with layer TIFFs, you can always go back and fix a crop however you want. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna show you a few more tips and tricks with my workflow as we go. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks a lot, happy shooting.